Hey guys, it's Tommy, and today I'm going to show you how to return your Galaxy S2 on AT&T to stock firmware. Okay, first I want to note that I haven't made a video in about a month now, and I want to apologize for that. I was really busy with school and finals and midterms or whatever you want to call them. But now I'm all done with them, and hopefully I'm going to be pushing out a few videos in the near future. Okay, let's get started. Now, this step is optional, but if you want to, you can back up all your apps using an app called Titanium Backup, and you can find this in the market but also you have to be rooted for this to work and um, if you are you're in luck but um, once you're in the app go ahead and hit menu and then choose batch and then hit backup all user apps and then you'll get a list of all your apps on your phone and you can choose the ones you want to back up and after you have the list together you just go ahead and hit run the batch operation at the top and once that finishes all your apps will be backed up and now, um, if you need to, you can back up your music and your photos by connecting your phone to the computer and transferring all the, all the files to your computer and then transferring them back when you're done restoring your phone. And like I said, both these things are optional and they're not necessary, but also uh, you will lose all this if you do not take, if you do not do this step. Okay, for this step, you're gonna need to open up your browser and go to this link right here which is going to be in the description and uh, before you do all this you need to make sure you have 7-zip and you can download it from this link right here and just choose your version 64-bit or 32-bit and then um, after you have that downloaded you can choose between the kernel plus rooted system or non-rooted so if you want super user you choose rooted if you do not you choose non-rooted um, I'm not going to get into what rooting is, you should already know that, but for me I'm going to choose rooted right now. And once you get to this multi-upload page, you just choose direct download. And then I would save it to my desktop. Um, I've already done this, so I'm not going to. And um, once you're done downloading that, oh, um, also uh, if you haven't already done so, you need to download the drivers for your Galaxy S2 and um, you need to get ver Odin version 1.82 on your computer also and um, now you need to open up the file you just downloaded uh, with 7-zip and you need to select it choose extract and then I I would choose my desktop and then hit OK I've also already done this step and um, once you have the PDA.tar on your desktop you want to go ahead and open Odin but first um, you need to go to your phone and turn it off or for me I'm just going to choose recovery Um, also, if you're coming from a turned off phone, you just push volume down, volume up, plus power, and it puts the phone into this state. And also, you need to have Clockwork Mod installed on your phone. Well, actually, you don't. it's not necessary, but if you're returning to stock, you should already have it. Um, once you're in here, you want to go ahead and hit Wipe Data slash Factory Reset. Scroll all the way to Yes and it will wipe your phone and like I said earlier in the video you should have already backed up all your apps and music and contacts or whatever and now that you're done with this you want to go ahead and power off and once the phone's powered off you're going to need to unplug from the computer Wait just a second. Hold on. Okay, now that the phone is completely turned off, 
you want to push volume down, plus volume up, and then plug into your computer. And now it should give you this message about a custom OS can cause critical problems. Just go ahead and hit continue by pushing volume up. And um, I'll meet you guys at the next step on the computer. Okay, now that you have your phone plugged in in download mode, you should get a COM port right here. And you want to make sure repartition is unchecked, and auto reboot and reset timer both checked. And once you're in Odin, you just want to hit uh, the PDA section, and then go to your desktop and choose the PDA.tar that we extracted from 7-zip. Go ahead and hit open, and with your phone completely connected to the computer, you want to go ahead and push start. Now let's just wait a second for it to flash back to stock. Um, I'm not sure about this, but I think if you have a yellow triangle on your phone, this will remove it. But I'm not 100% sure because this is the first time I'm doing it. Okay, now that it is done flashing to the phone, it will reset, and your yellow triangle is now gone. And just go ahead and hit reboot. Or And now you are back to stock firmware, firmware with no triangle and your standard AT&T little logo. This may take a while on the first boot because it has to run all the startup files. and just go through the setup and here you are your standard out of the box stock shape and you that's pretty much it for this video um, if you would like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and um, Maybe check out the guy that made this, uh, put this package together and maybe send him a donate or whatever you want to do. But I hope you found this video helpful and uh, that's it. Goodbye.